It's official, we are getting a hide and seek slash traffic camouflage style game mode in Forza Horizon 5. It's just been announced today, I'm going to talk you through the entire game mode and all the details you'll want to know about it, along with details with the new collab that's just been announced as well with Jordan. So sit back, relax, here's everything you need to know about the new game mode and partnership that is coming to Forza Horizon 5 in Series 38. Now Forza presents a new game mode for Forza Horizon 5 and reveals a new partnership at Gamescom. Gamescom started today. Today, Forza Horizon 5 have got their own little booth and they are showcasing this new game mode at the booth. That's why it's kind of public now. They've given us a little trailer and some assets as well. So we know the full details. Now, as I said, this is for Series 38. So it's around the first or second week of September when this current update finishes. That's when all this is going to come out in the next update. So let's talk about the new game mode. In the new game mode, one of two possible roles will be assigned to players at random. Hiders. The hider will be tasked with getting to a location in a set amount of time without getting caught by the seekers. Sounds a bit like hide and seek. Sneak past seekers by blending into the traffic and hiding within the environment to reach your destination before the time runs out or seekers gather enough points to win. So it sounds like seekers can actually win with gathering points. We'll learn more about that in a second. As a hider, you'll be able to drive the following four cars. So if you are hiding, if you're blending into the traffic, you will have a 2012 Jeep Wrangler, 2017 F-150 Raptor, 2017 Chevrolet Colorado, and a 2018 Mercedes X-Class. Not the fastest cars in the world, and that's worth noting because the Seekers cars are quicker. Five players will take on the role of Seekers, whose main objective is to find and stay close to the hider. By finding and staying close to the hider, the Seekers will start filling their Seekers detection meter. If the Seekers complete that Seekers detection meter, they will win the round. But it sounds like you don't actually have to find the hider and go up to him and touch him. You just have to be close enough. That's what it sounds like anyway. And then we can see below the six cars that these Seekers will be, hide, will be driving. We've got an M4 GTS, a Camaro ZL1, an SLS AMG, an RS6, an Evo 10, and a Ford Bronco. So those Seekers cars are much quicker than the hiders cars so it sounds like if you're a hider you're gonna want to try and be stealthy because it doesn't look like you'll have much of a chance of outrunning the seekers you can see here that all of the cars will be stock no liveries no tunes no builds the game is split into two phases each with a four minute duration in the first phase the hider will have to remain undercover while the seekers try and find them before the first four minute phase ends and within that first phase the seekers really want to lock on their position to fill the seekers detection meter and ensure the win so it sounds like you in that first four minutes the seekers really want to get close to the hider and lock it in during the second phase so after those first four minutes a randomly spawned end zone becomes active the seekers have four minutes to detect the hider before they reach the end zone the time is ticking remain shrouded as much as you can to avoid the seekers or use your tools find the hider and fill the detection bar that's right both the hiders and the seekers have tools also known as power-ups so it sounds like the way it'll work four minutes as a hider you've got to hide stay out of the way make sure the seekers don't find you and in the second four minutes you'll have an end goal to go and get to before the seekers find you the seekers radar points to an approximate location of the hider once they have found their target they can use their ping available ability to lock onto their exact location and show it on the map for 20 seconds so sounds like the seekers will have the ability to ping the hider's exact location and show it on the map for 20 seconds the hiders have their own ability though which is called chase breaker now when the hiders activate this the hiders can force break the seekers, so force the seekers to break and turn off their radar and their ping ability for 20 seconds. The chase breaker will also ghost the car of the hider, meaning that you'll be transparent and you'll be able to pass through any smashable object in the game. Matchmaking, how does the matchmaking work? Once hide and seek becomes available to play, as I said in September, series 38, a new location will be added to the map to enter this new game mode. Nice and simple. You can join the game alone and match with other players, or you can do it with your mates. Rewards. We all like to hear about rewards. What are you going to be able to get for this hide and seek game mode? First, hide and seek will have its own progression track. You'll be able to earn XP exclusive for this game mode by completing games. Leveling up will, will earn you new badges when you reach certain thresholds. So it's going to have its own sort of progression system, its own XP bar, you should say, for hide and seek. 
Now, if you play this game mode frequently, you will earn a play streak. When you do, bonus XP will be earned for every game you complete for as long as you keep that streak kind of active and you'll level up even quicker. Finally, new accolades tied to hide and seek will be added to the game for players to unlock while discovering this new game mode and a set of achievements will be released in October, presumably update 39. That is the new hide and seek slash traffic camouflage game mode that's coming to Forza Horizon 5. We've got a little bit of a mini Q&A section here that I'll quickly gloss over if anyone's got any immediate questions about the hide and seek game mode. Here are some commonly asked Q&A questions. The one that stood out to me was that it is a six player game mode, one hider and five seekers. Now that seems quite difficult to me. I thought there'd be at least be more than one hider, but it turns out one hider, five seekers. So the game lasts eight minutes, again split into four, oh, sorry, two different four minute segments. What is the maximum level available for hide and seek? Level a thousand, a thousand. So that's there's some serious progression there. So yeah, interesting game mode. As I said, we've also got the partnership as well. Now we made some guesses as to what this could be, but because it was a partnership, it could have been literally anything. And it turns out it was pretty much literally anything. It was something completely random, a partnership with Jordan. Okay, our partnership with Jordan brings a special version of the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro inspired by the Jordan Luca 3 Motorsport Edition sneaker for both Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport players will have access to an exclusive Jordan branded racing suit. Now to unlock the racing suit in Forza Motorsport you need to race the 1969 Chevrolet uh, Special Motorsport Edition across five events. And this 1969 Chevrolet in question will be gifted to all players on Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport through the gifts tab when the respectable updates go live. So Forza Motorsport is getting an update on September 9th, Forza Horizon 5 is getting an update on September the 10th. That's when you'll get the new car. So that is our questions that we had answered. We are getting a Jordan collaboration and a hide and seek game mode. Now we're going to talk about this a little bit more in another video but I do have a pretty good feeling that this game mode that we've just released was going to be the Eliminator Duos but they changed it. They completely changed the whole concept of this new game mode coming to the game. I don't think the Eliminator Duos would have done very well. My personal guess, my personal opinion is Eliminator Duos is now not happening ever. They changed it, they changed the idea of their new game mode to be hide and seek. There are similarities between the details of this game mode and what we were said was going to be Eliminator Duos. So I think this is what Eliminator Duos ended up being. Something kind of completely different, but similar-ish. That's it, I'll have gameplay on the channel and more information if we get any. Series 38 is in a couple of weeks, obviously we'll talk more about that when we come closer to the time. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, as this is definitely not going to be for everyone, but I think a, a good chunk of people are going to enjoy it. So, leave a like if you've enjoyed guys, I'll see you all later.